So we've talked about chivalry before on the show, but we've never really defined it. That's because it's kind of hard to explain. But in a nutshell, chivalry is a code of honor that extends not just to your romantic relationships, but to every relationship in your life. Put simply, if you turn on MTV, it's the opposite of that. <laughs> Okay, fine, that's not really the best way to explain it either. That's like explaining intelligent design as the opposite of Josh. <laughs> so I guess today we'll talk about five ways to be chivalrous, or as I like to call it, supporting your local chivalry. Because let's be honest, chivalry is pretty much dead in this country. Number one, be a servant. If you want any relationship in your life to work out, you have to die to yourself. Look, a relationship can only work out when both people are more interested in serving each other than they are in serving themselves. And that's tough. It involves killing your own wants and desires. But you can't just think about yourself and then expect that everyone else is gonna play along. Look what Mr. Number One in your life got. He got some Super Bowl tickets! Oh, guys, what day is it? February 3rd! Oh, that's my birthday. Oh! Well, looks like you're going to the Super Bowl for your birthday, baby! Oh, I guess we can go to a football game on my birthday. You're darn right we can go to a football game on your birthday. <laughs> and like we said last week, it's more fun to give than to receive anyway. Number two. Modesty. Now you hear the word modesty and you assume it just means that girls shouldn't be skanky, right? Guys are the victims here. Man, I don't want to point fingers, but if the girls would just practice a little more modesty, it'd be a lot easier to be a guy. It is so hard to be a man. It's not our fault that our eyes wander. <laughs> oh, poor male population. Slaves to the power of whatever the girls decide to wear that day. Well, guess what? Modesty is a lot more than just making sure a few select areas are covered. And guys are just as guilty, if not more guilty, of being immodest. We act like this is a girl problem, but in reality, it's an everybody problem. Guys, we don't have to be so arrogant in life. Let's practice a little humility. And we could start by realizing that our problems don't originate because of how girls are dressing. If we've got problems, they're our problems. Don't blame them on anybody else. And for the girls, I'm not even just talking about the clothes you wear, but you don't have to flaunt yourself for attention. Because the attention you do receive, It'll be fake. It's not based on who you really are. It's based on this person you're pretending to be just to get attention. So just be yourself. Number three, respect. Let's go to this hard. You guys are hard, especially you. Okay, I'm going to my prom and your heads, your tails. Whoever gets heads wins. <laughs> heads. Treat people like human beings. Show them respect, value their opinions, and be open-minded. You know, this is probably gonna go right over your head, but I'll say it for your benefit. I'm really happy that the Federal Reserve is finally doing something to stimulate the economy because, let's be honest, the poor could use the help. Well, actually, I think it's gonna harm the poor more in the long run because all the inflation is going to go <laughs> Woman, this is about making money, not spending it. <laughs> Bless your heart. It's actually possible that you could be wrong about certain things in your life. A great way to let somebody know that you value them is to just show them some dignity. Respect how they think and how they feel about things. And who knows, maybe you'll learn something along the way. Number four, honesty. All good relationships are based on honesty and trust, right? But I know it's really hard to be completely honest with somebody because that's a very scary place to put yourself in. What if I get rejected? What if I'm not accepted for who I am? What if I'm completely vulnerable? So it's very easy to put up walls and be whoever it is that other people want you to be. But if you think about it, if someone doesn't like you for you, then why would you even hang out with them? Life is too short for you to be somebody else's version of you. It sounds like a cheap remake of your favorite movie. And number five, Kindness. This one isn't really rocket science, just be nice to people. Remember, you can't be chivalrous if you're being ridiculous. So support your local chivalry. Love others, serve others, and be kind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to find a damsel in distress and win her heart. Shouldn't be so hard now that I know how to be a knight in shining armor. Now all I need is some armor and a pony. This could do stay hard <laughs> Cynthia, get in here! It's on commercial break! What? I need you to get me another beer. Don't you think five is enough already? No, five is never enough already, baby. I did not marry you for your, your brains, little Bo Pete, now. Go get me another beer! 